Hi guys, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to do a video on mild hypertension. By mild hypertension, I mean blood pressure readings between 140 over 90 to 159 over 99. Okay, so consistently when your blood pressures are between 140 over 90 to 159 over 99, that is classed as mild hypertension. Uh, this all came about because someone contacted me recently. They said, look, I'm 55 years old. I'm completely fit and well. I enjoy my life. I went to uh, see my GP. They did my blood pressure. They found it to be elevated at 150 over 90. They called me back after a couple of weeks. They found it again to be 150 over 85. And then a third time I went and again, my blood pressure is 150 over 90. So the GP is very concerned about this. He says that I'm at a high risk of having strokes and heart attacks and we need to treat this aggressively. Particularly as in America now, they say that if your blood pressure is above um, 130 over 80 uh, and you're high risk, then we should be treating it with medications. And certainly if it's above 140 over 90, then we should definitely be treating it aggressively. So I thought I'd try and do a video on this because this chap was very concerned about taking medications. He said he had a good quality of life. He didn't want to take any side. He didn't want uh, any side effects from the medications. And of course, he was left a little bit concerned about this increased blood pressure. So I thought I'd try and explain this to you. The first thing is that life, as far as I'm concerned, has only two dimensions. Uh, there is quantity of life and then there's quality of life. There's a difference between the two. The first is uh, that one you can measure, the other you can't. Quality of life is something we can measure. We measure it by our own yardstick, our own aspirations, etc. Quantity of life for the individual you cannot measure. So I cannot measure my quantity of life because the only time I could measure my quantity of life would be when my life was over. So length of life as an individual, as a patient, we cannot measure. Quality of life, we can measure. And whenever we're trying to treat anything, we have to say, okay, you know, what does this condition do to our quality of life? What does this condition do to our quantity of life? And how does the treatment impact on quality of life caused by this condition and quantity of life affected by this condition? So the first thing to say is that uh, with mild hypertension, uh, blood pressures between 140 over 90 to 159 over 99, um, they don't really affect our quality of life. Blood pressure of that value is not going to cause symptoms, make us feel unwell, etc. It is just something that sits there, the number is a bit high, but we generally don't feel unwell as a result of having a blood pressure uh, at that, uh, at that, of that magnitude. However, you know, there is evidence now that uh, as uh, blood pressures increase, the higher the blood pressure, the greater the risk of bad things happening. So the greater the risk of kidney failure, the greater the risk of diabetes, the greater, uh, sorry, the great, greater the risk of having heart attacks or strokes. So when you are taking something to try and reduce risk, you're never going to know whether you've reduced the risk in yourself. How would you know? Because if you take the tablet and you don't have a stroke, how do you know that if you hadn't taken the tablet, you would definitely have had a stroke? So you're, you have to base the decision to take medications around some sort of evidence, some sort of evidence that has been accrued by performing large scale studies on people just like you. And depending on that evidence, you can then decide whether it is worth you taking those medications because they may in some way prevent the risk of something happening. So um, this was uh, really interesting because um, I was uh, interested in looking at this and I went and found uh, some research that has been done to try and answer this question. And this was a publication in JAMA uh, Internal Medicine, a journal called JAMA Internal Medicine. It was published in December 2018 and its author was James Shepard. And the uh, article was called Benefits and Harms of Antihypertensive Treatment in Low-Risk Patients with Mild Hypertension. And what they were interested in is saying that, well, does treating a patient who has low risk, like our patient, 
who has uh, blood pressures from 140 over 90 to 159 over 99, does treating that patient make a difference to their outcomes in the long term? Okay, what is the evidence? And they studied 19,000 odd patients uh, and they found something really interesting. They found actually when you um, treat these patients, there is no association between whether they're treated or not and whether they have something bad happen to them in the long run. So it does not appear that aggressively treating patients with blood pressures of uh, which range between 140 over 90 to 159 over 99 seems to have any impact on outcome or length of life. In fact, what they found interestingly was that these patients did have a much higher incidence of side effects. Um, there was no benefit, but actually there was potentially harm caused by um, things like low blood pressure from the medications, blackouts, electrolyte problems, kidney injury, all these were increased because of the tablets and yet the tablets did not really confer any benefit. So um, to my patient who asked me this, I said, look, you know, actually there is no evidence that you need the medications or the medications are going to do you any good. By taking the medications, all you're doing is making the number look prettier. You're not affecting the consequences of that number. The first thing to say is the consequences of that number are not particularly great anyway. And treating that number doesn't seem to make any difference to those consequences. So you don't need any medications. And he was very happy uh, because now he was doing things scientifically. You know, he was understanding that, look, you know, if there is no evidence for this in someone like me, then why should I be taking those medications? Uh, so I hope you found this useful. If you are someone who's got a mild, mildly elevated blood pressure, uh, at this point in time, there's really no evidence uh, that treating that blood pressure is going to make any impact in, on your long-term future. It doesn't appear that that blood pressure is going to have a bad effect on your future anyway, and therefore treating it is not going to significantly make a big difference. So you may be exposing yourself to risks without necessarily getting much in the way of benefit. If you want, do check it out. It's by Shepard et al. It's in JAMA Internal Medicine. It was published in December 2018. Um, once again, I'm really, really grateful for all that you do for me. I'm trying to put a video out on Facebook every day these days, uh, and it would mean a ton if you'd consider sharing the videos. Once again, thank you so much. All the best.